extent that Social Security deficit, if that's the right word, is included in this trillion, I've always been curious if we remove the cap on Social Security taxes, taxable income and taxed everyone to the full extent of their earned income, how would that impact the, the deficit and the borrowing? That's, that's a great sort of two-part question because technically Social Security is off budget. And often when we talk about Social Security, we talk about it on its own basis because Social Security's got its own dedicated tax that goes into a trust fund that pays for its own benefits. But whenever I show numbers like this, whenever anybody does, they're looking at the unified budget deficit. And so that means this is including Social Security's deficit and it was previously including Social Security's surpluses when it ran them. If we were to raise the cap, eliminate it without the, you know, a lot of people want to do a $400,000 donut hole because God forbid anyone making $398,000 pays a higher tax. But if we were just to eliminate it entirely without that donut hole, it would be about 200 billion a year. So instead of a, you know, so you could basically take all these numbers and subtract 200 billion. Now that's a lot, over 10 years, that's $2 trillion. Um, but it's not like that, it's not like it brings us to balanced budget. 